Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video, we are gonna test out four different corn extracts to see which one of them, or which combination, gives the most legitimate corn flavor to our keto-baked goods. But before we do that, if you enjoy low-carb cooking videos, product and ingredient reviews, like this one, as well as lessons learned from my experiences with a ketogenic lifestyle and intermittent fasting, I have a hard time with that word, click that subscribe button down there and click the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I release a new video. When I started doing keto, there were a few things I really knew that I was gonna be jonesing for and kind of got on a personal quest to make sure that I could create these sort of holy grail type items. One of them is a corn tortilla and I'm really close, really, really close on that. Another is cornbread and I get a lot of requests for that in my comments. So in this video, we're gonna look at four different extracts. Now, a note about extracts, you can't just taste them straight up. They taste awful, just if you put it on your finger. In fact, I would highly recommend you don't do that. I'm speaking from experience here. It's right along the lines of tasting black cocoa powder straight out of the bag, which you should also not do. So to give each of these extracts their fair day in court, we're gonna whip up a batch of Birchbender's Keto Pancake Mix and use our little dash griddle to make four different pancakes. The extracts that we'll be trying out will be Ooh flavors, cornbread, I'm assuming that's what the three O's is pronounced as. So Ooh cornbread, the Amaretti Sweet Corn, Capella Popcorn, and Loran Oils Buttered Popcorn. For this recipe, we'll use the standard Birchbender's Keto instructions, which is two-thirds of a cup of the Birchbender's mix, one half cup of water, which we will whisk together. Dividing our batter into four servings is about a quarter of a cup each, and that means roughly 40 grams. The Amoretti is the only one that actually says on the directions how much to apply, and it's a 1% ratio. So that's going to be kind of tough. That's going to be a half a gram, and this scale doesn't go down to tenths of a gram. So we're just going to kind of wing this. That was three drops, and I really already smell the corn. Give this a mix, and then we'll repeat with the ooh flavors, or ooh flavors. This is a little thinner, so I want, eh, we're going to go five drops. Yeah, I know, not real hardcore science here. Mix, and let's make some pancakes. It's been about four minutes. Not super done on the top, but looking pretty done on the bottom. So we're gonna take these out. I'm more concerned about the flavor than I am about creating the perfect pancake here. Now the taste test. First, the ooh flavors. Not doing a lot for me. The Birchbender's Keto very much has the texture of you know, cornbread. Not a good cornbread, but a cornbread nevertheless. But I don't think I'm picking up any flavor from the extract. I take that back. Maybe, maybe a little. This could be one that if we add a little bit more, we might get where we're going. Now the Amaretti. I would say the Amaretti tastes more like corn and less like cornbread. So it might be interesting to try these two together. But first, let's try the two popcorn flavors. On the left here, we'll be using the Capella. About six drops, kind of what we used on the other stuff. And on the right, the Loran. I can really smell this one. Mix and mix and griddle. Let's 
Let's get these guys out and onto a plate. First up, we have the Capella. I'm getting nothing. At the very, very, very end, I get an aftertaste that's kind of like I ate some popcorn an hour ago. Next up, we have the Lorann oils. Again, I'm getting pretty much nothing out of this. All right, at this point, I'm ready to throw what little scientific method there is in this video right out the window and try two more pancakes where I really hit them with the extract. One will be the combination of the first two, the ooh flavors and the amaretti. The next one I'm gonna put all four into and see if I can really get a corn explosion. For the left one, I'm gonna do 10 drops of the ooh flavors. And as best as I can, 10 drops of the amaretti. On the right one, for no particular reason, I'm gonna do oh, seven drops. And I'll make it 10. 10 drops of Amaretti, roughly. 10 drops of the Capella popcorn. 10 drops of Loran oil. Mix them both up. and griddle them up. Now, I'm not sure why, but both of these puffed up a lot more than the previous batches. I don't know if that has anything to do with the additional extract. So here we're just gonna do the ooh, ooh flavor and amaretti. This is finally starting to taste a little bit like cornbread to me. I think with a little bit of butter and some sugar-free honey, this might make for a passable cornbread. Now the one with all four of the extracts. I'm definitely getting more of a, a buttery flavor in it, but there's also a little bit of bitterness to it. So I'm not really digging those buttered popcorn extracts. So what are the takeaways? First, um, the buttered popcorn, I don't know, I don't know what is gonna be my use for that. If I can come up with some sort of a, a snack where that might be handy. Otherwise, that may have just been a wasted purchase. So, you know, if I saved you some money on that, great. I feel like the Amaretti has more of a corn taste, whereas the Ooh flavors has more of a cornbread taste. I think the next time I use them, I'm gonna make sure that I'm looking at a minimum of 20 drops per quarter cup of whatever batter I'm using. Also, I think I've learned enough from this experiment that I think I can take one more trial run at my corn tortilla recipe with these, as well as some other secret ingredients, and release that video probably next week. I realize this probably isn't as fun as a standard chaffle video, but thanks for watching.